Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see interfacing of DAC with 8051 microcontroller. DAC, the digital to analog converter, is a widely used device to convert digital pulses into analog signals. So this is the interfacing diagram of DAC0808 with 8051 microcontroller. So you can see Port 1 of microcontroller is connected to D0 to D7 pins of DAC. So these D0 to D7 pins are nothing but digital input pins of DAC0808 and this is the output pin. So this is analog output pin. So this analog output, this DAC provides analog output in, in the form of current I. So you can get analog output current at the output pin. You can convert this analog output current to the output voltage with the help of op-amp. Instead of using your op-amp, you can simply use resistor network, but it will, the uh, with change in the load, the output voltage will vary. So that is why op-amp is used with feedback resistor of 5K. Here, you can get output voltage, analog output voltage ranging from 0 volts to 10 volts. So this output voltage 0 volts to 10 volts is in the accordance with input voltage or input signal, digital input signal. So in the next slide, we'll see how DSC converts a digital signal into analog one. So you can see here function for I out that is output current. So output current is a function of reference current and D0 to D7 values. So values of D0 to D7 means D0, D1 to D7 and I reference. So this output current is, depends upon I reference and D0 to D7 input pins. So uh, for example, if I reference is 2 milliampere and D0 to D7 pins are all high that is 1 then you can get I output equal to 1.99 milliampere. Remember this is the maximum current output 1.99 milliampere if I reference is 2 milliampere. Now if D0 to D7 pins are all zeros then you know I out will be 0 because all D0 to D7 pins will be 0 then I output will be 0. So in this way output current will vary from 0 ampere or sorry 0 milliampere to 2 milliampere and with the op amp you can convert it to the voltage 0 to 10 volts. So in the next slide we will see some basic programs using DAC. So this is the basic program of generation of square wave using DAC. So this is the square wave generation program. So we will start with 0H then we will move 00 to accumulator then we will move accumulator to port 1 of microcontroller. So this port 1 of microcontroller is connected to D0 to D7 pins meaning that D0 to D7 pins are all zeros. Then we will call some delay. Then we will call some delay. So this accumulator 00 or port 1 equal to 00H will ensure analog output of 0 volts. Then we will call some delay. After that we will move FFH to accumulator and again we will move accumulator to port 1 that is will move FFH to port 1 that is D0 to D7 pins of DAC meaning this the D0 to D7 pins will be high or all ones and the output will be maximum that is 10 volts then we will call some delay so here by using 00H or giving 0 volts and calling some delay 
and here we are giving maximum of 10 volts and calling some delay we will generate a square wave so this is the delay program for square wave generation this is register based delay not timer based you can use any of them this is the triangular wave waveform generation so here in this program we'll generate a triangular waveform so first we'll start with 00h 0h then we'll move 0 00h to accumulator and again we'll move this accumulator data to port 1 that is d0 to d7 pins so again we'll increment accumulator and we'll check this accumulator cjne a comma hash 0 ffh comma incr so it will compare and jump if uh, compare 0 ffh and accumulator data and it will jump if not equal to incr so value in the accumulator will gradually increase from 00h to ffh giving the analog output gradually increase increasing like a triangle wave waveform triangular waveform again when the value in the accumulator will be ffh then it will be equal so this instruction it will jump out of this instruction and it will move to next instruction again we will decrement the value of accumulator by 1 and it, we will check the accumulator with 00h and will move to the dcr so decrement dcr loop so in this loop the output voltage analog output voltage will gradually decrease and in this way you can have uh, generate a triangular wave this s jump repeat function will repeat all this all the two loops and giving you the output of triangular wave so this is the very basic programs using dc that is digital to analog converter i hope you'll all understand the use of dc in digital to analog conversion so thank you very much